What's the hold up on that Brad the Impaler file, Max? You know how antsy the commissioner gets when he doesn't have up-to-date paperwork to shred. There'll be a slight delay, Sam. The loose meat sandwich you filed last winter has evolved not only a rudimentary central nervous system, but a woefully cranky attitude. Ah, my skin is off. I'm done for. Here's your file, Sam. You sound bored, little buddy. I'm guessing the filing cabinet entity has lost its ability to engage and entertain. Yeah, these clerical all nighters are such a snore. If only something truly wicked would this way come. I got it, I got it! <laughs> Nobody there. Must have been some ruddy-cheeked street urchins playing tricks on old Sam again. <laughs> Bless their delinquent little hides. <laughs> now see here, kiddies. Who ordered baked potatoes? Look closer, Max. Call me loopy, but I think these bulky little spuds are in fact otherworldly visitors from beyond. It's been so long since we've had visitors. I'll put out the good china. Please accept these free samples of Earth's bounties as a token of our tacky goodwill. Oh, look, Sam, they're returning the gesture. Too bad. I've already got a pimple gun. These glossy little space goobers seem to have a low tolerance for kitsch. Obviously not intelligent life forms. Let's not be so hasty, Max. This is a delicate first contact situation with an entirely new life form. It requires a more sensitive form of communication. Check. <laughs> Expertly handled. I was hoping for a little more hang time on mine. Looks like we'll have to amend the report to include a close encounter with some ornery stumpies. That's tech talk for height-deficient ETs. All that physical exertion has caused me to work of a froth. I'm gonna go catch a vertical squirt bath. That's tech talk for shower. I think I'll just close this window for no good reason. Oh, foolish space guys, we kicked your butt. To mess with Earthmen, you must be nuts. Where's that towel? I'm just adding a brief footnote to our report describing our heroics, Max. How many A's are there in flagrant? Sorry, Sam. I couldn't hear a word you said. What with the shower going and all that ominous rattling at the door? Will the criminal element never tire of invading our inner sanctum? Gee, I hope not. Oh, boy. Looks like we have a secret admirer. Maybe it's a willowy goddess with a stalker-like infatuation for freelance lawmen. Hey, it's the crinkly wee envoys from space. Foolish aliens, your puny weapons are no match for our superior attitude. The pain is almost euphoric, Sam. It's like falling asleep in a tanning booth. Whoa! Offhand, I'd say we're dealing with a couple of tough little pugs with orders to take over this island Earth by obliterating mankind two by two. Look, Sam, they're trying to seal us in. Isn't that cute? They're like a pair of shiny, industrious doorknobs. Yup. Just as I thought, these spry little beggars intend on engaging us in a close quarter death match. Beats doing paperwork. Well, better get cracking, I guess. Watch this, Max. You'll like it. Can this be of any use, Sam? It's my old fully functional HO scale nuclear reactor. It sure gave model railroading a welcome touch of urban peril. Give me a hand, Pumpkinhead. We've got to make this radioactive rat trap look a tad more inviting. Mmm, paste. Dance contest! Come on in! No cover for ladies and tiny space dwellers tonight only. 
Now remember, kids, never ever place foil-wrapped invaders inside a functioning nuclear reactor. Unless you really, really want to. Poke a fork in them, Max. I'd say they're done. Shall we sell the TV rights to the autopsy? <laughs> There's or ours. Boy, they're really on there. This would be a good time to scream and stumble about in an overt display of blind terror. Okay. I knew that old sandwich would come in handy someday. After all, why waste food when food can waste unwanted guests? Nice work, Max. The interstellar invasion has been officially quashed. Uh, I hope for our sake it's the mold creature that's wielding that flaming torch. Conventional methods have failed us, Max. We're down to our last few evasive measures. You're certain? We have no other choice? None. Prepare to resort to overpaced sight gags and hijinks aplenty. Is Tierra del Fuego far enough? Try Bora Bora. It's easier to spell. Resilient little pustules, aren't they? Makes you feel kind of insignificant, doesn't it, Max? I always feel that way about you, Sam. I don't know about you, but these glossy finger puppets are starting to get on my nerves. Perhaps if we took a short walk, they'd be gone when we got back. painfully clear that we're up against a pair of indestructible metal maggots who will stop at nothing to ensure that we come to a slow and torturous end. And I was griping about being bored. <laughs> oh, please. If I know my running gags, those Mylar Garb mites should be waiting for us on the other side. Comedy can be so cruel. I smell baked ham. Mission accomplished. It's quality time. Thanks. That's nice. Our comfy chairs! This has really gone too far, Sam! You said it, Max. They forced us to stoop to a level of senseless retaliation that even we have never dared approach. Promises, promises. I kid you not, Max. I love it when you say I kid you not, Max. I mean, Sam. Next time, longer fuse. They've won. We... we've been beaten, little pal. Vested by a pair of antisocial carnival prizes. How humiliating. Could this be the end for Sam and Max? Freelance police? Nice! Excellent work, guys. That was fun. Your virtual combat training module is the ultimate video game, Geek. The simulated 3D carnage makes me tingle like a prom queen. Yeah, the boys at NASA seem to like it. I designed this virtual simulator so that space cadets could safely practice tactical maneuvers against potentially hostile life forms. And what could be more potentially hostile than me and Max? We have creamed the enemy, and it was us. I just hope the kids at home weren't emotionally scarred from witnessing what appeared to be our horrifyingly graphic demise. Me too. We'll need their keisters parked at the tube in time for our next episode. Aw, you old softy.